guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin.blogspot.com and yay, I'm back with an instructional video. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so let me explain a little bit first. So everybody got to see if you looked um, to join my team, you would have seen the kit contents if you were checking out my blog post which I'll link down below especially with this month's awesome promo of earning a free rolling tote but you would have checked if you would have checked it out you would have seen the catalog or the sneak peek for the new seasonal expressions too that starts May, um, April the 1st now I'm not going to show you the inside I'm just going to show you the front how stinking cute are they okay so I decided um, it is a nasty, icy, snowy day here. I need some spring. I need something fun in my life. So I decided I was going to make some strawberries as well. And I wanted to show you just how easy it was. Um, I cut them out on my Cricut Explore. And the best part about it was I used my scoring blade. So it, or my scoring tool rather the pen and it did all my scoring for me no guessing no notches I can't stand the notches um, and I loved it I also used my stylus and the um, the it's the piercing and embossing toolkit um, that comes from close to my heart and I just added some dimension as you can see on my see how I made the leaves um, on the leaves of my strawberries and I also use the dots um, embossing folder which if I can find it here we go the dot embossing folder and I ran it through my big shot and that's how I got the strawberry texture which is so much fun what did you say? Hello, audience. No, I said hello, A's. A stands for audience. Oh, yeah. Hello, A's. That was Bubba. Um, so I also used my liquid glass because that is so awesome to... Oh, God. Here we go with zooming in and out again. With... Um, holding 3D items together. So this is this is on here pretty good, okay? So in addition to that, I don't know if you can see underneath the leaves, it looks like there is maybe some ribbon. So what I actually did was, because I learned my lesson a long time ago um, about things that you can use push pins, or not push pins, why did I say that? I didn't mean to say push pins. I meant to say um, brads, where you can use brads to hold something together. Mm -mm. If you can, use some string. I'm using the flaxen extra thick twine that we're offering right now in the Seasonal Expressions 1 catalog. Um, I would say jump on and grab it ASAP because um, I'll be honest with you, let me just double check and make sure that that is it. I believe that item is, is um, carrying forward but I just want to double check that. It's right in the back of the Seasonal Expressions 1. It is. It, it does look like it's staying with us, but just in case, it's Z3036, and I'll put everything I use down below. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how easy it was to do this. Like I said, I already went and took them and ran them <coughs> Excuse me, right through my Big Shot. And I used the Artiste Cricut cartridge from close to my heart. You can also get that right in my online store. I am so sorry. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Um, and on page 72, here is the images you're going to be cutting out. And in the Explore, it was super easy. I just changed this to red, and I changed this to a green. And here's the code. It's hashtag M3A297. And if you put that in um, as the code to find your image, they both will pop up. So you just have to put it in once for both of them. If not, page 72, and you want to make sure you cut it at 6 inches wide on your Explore, not 6 inches high. Um which, let me double check that just to make sure. I should have written that down. I just wrote the six inches. Yep, it's six. Oh, it is. It's. is. I'm so sorry. Yes, it's six inches wide. So, make sure I'm actually going to put a W next to that so that way um, I know to have that for next time. But remember, six inches wide. Let's just, like I said, put that six inches wide. It's the way that it comes in that that's the way it worked best for me. I think they're a great size, to be honest with you. It makes me think they're a little bit big for a strawberry, but it was easier to work with. 
So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold on all my score lines. And like I said, the Explorer's awesome because all you do is add your um, scoring tool. It looks like a pen or your scoring stylus, you could even say, right inside, pop it in, and there you go, you're off. It'll do all the scoring for you. And my little secret to getting things to fold correctly is, um, or to glue correctly, I should say, the little tabs. I'm gonna show you as soon as I get all these in. Don't you just love the dots? To make it look to make it look lo like legitimate. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's take our liquid glass, and as you see, I already have my pin. If this is a uh, all clogged up, which it isn't, because I literally just got done making that one um, strawberry. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold it in half, and for me, I always place it down first to make sure I got a good grip and then I just roll it back over to make sure it's lined up right because I don't like when it doesn't line up correctly. Um, see how it's a nice straight edge? That's what you want. Okay, just keep it like that. Okay, so we have that in and it definitely needs to be held a little longer. So we'll just leave that one like that. I'm gonna do the same thing. And I tried to make a little crate, but it was a little too small for me. So I'm going to actually just buy one of the little egg cartons. I know they sell them, especially right now around Easter time in the store. Um, yeah, and that way I can have these. Uh, my friend Mindy, so Mindy, if you're watching, hello. Uh, she gave me an awesome idea yesterday and said she can't wait to put them as a centerpiece on our dining room table, and I thought, heck yes, I love that idea. Um, what also would be super cute, um, if you wanted to fill them with some treats, and you could use, um, you know, let's see. Let's get a Hershey kiss or two. These would be fun to give away. Oh, better yet, I'm gonna do some Starbursts. Drop some Starburst in and see how it looks. Let's see. Can we comfortably? Nah, I'm going to say not comfortably fit. We can comfortably fit three, though. Woohoo! Okay. Let's come back and get our flax and twine. Now, I used, I believe, seven inches last time, but I cut off a good amount. But I'm going to do seven again, just because I need that little extra bit to play with. So just cut that. And all you're going to do is go, actually, we're going to put the starburst in in a minute. Just go in and then back out and then go outside to go in and then back out. And then once again, Outside, I definitely messed up all my twine, I think. I definitely did not do enough. We're going to just have to start pulling now. Maybe I did nine, and I thought I did seven, but guess what? I'll make the seven work. It's like I said. Oh, yeah. Seven can definitely work gets a little tight towards the end, but at least you're not wasting any twine. That's the thing I hate the most. I hate to waste twine, especially this pretty extra thick twine. It's awesome. Now all I'm doing is just pulling the twine together to make these all come together. Okay. And as soon as you get them all together, you're just going to give one quick tie. You're not going to knot it. You're literally just going to do one knot. 
down. Now, just put it to the side for a second. You could have done this first, but I wanted to make sure I did, you know, everything. And guess what? I forgot to put the starburst back in. Silly girl, but we know the starburst could fit in there. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our little um, piercing and embossing toolkit, and we're going to take our stylus that comes with it, and we're just going to go ahead and draw... It's just some um, definition to the leaves. You know, make them look real. And then I'll show you what else we're going to do. Now, when you first open this project in um, your Explorer. It comes in at a really small size. I deleted the strawberry part, I ungrouped it and deleted it, and I kept the smaller leaf. And um, I'm actually really glad I did because I wanted to be able to hide more of the twine, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay, I'm also going to take my McGill um, little styluses here. This is like from their, I think it's their flower making kit or something. And I'm just going to go over with it, with it. it's um, the five millimeter edge. And I'm just going to go right over my leaves just to have them curl a little bit. Because, you know, shrubbery leaves are a little, they can curl up. Okay. And this, I'm just going to keep it just like this. I don't want to use this one here because I don't want it to curl up too much where it shows my twine. So let's come back here. And we're just going to give this one more quick tug. Okay. And then we're going to thread the twine through this. So you're going to have to do one at a time. That's what I had to do last time. Okay. So one... Two. And all we're going to do is we are going to give one more quick tie. We're not going to knot it. We're just doing just one bow, I guess you would say. Now, what I wanted to do, oops, on top of that, oh no, did that go through? It did. It's because I pulled too tight. Um, what else we're going to do is... We are going to um, we're going to have to glue with our um, liquid glass the edge of it down, so that way it stays down. There we go. Whoops! I'm afraid it. That's okay though, because it's fine. It's just fine. Okay, so we're just going to do one more knot. Okay, there we go. Don't mess with it now. <laughs> and there we go. Now let's take our liquid glass and we're going to squeeze some down and we're going to make sure that we get it to stay at the edge and see what I mean by stay over here so that way we can flatten our strawberry just a smidge so that way it looks you know more realistic and then what we're gonna do is see the other one we made we're gonna put it right on top to cover up the twine and I put this liquid glass right on top of this knot and on top of the extra twine so that way it doesn't come untied on me so I put a good amount and you really don't need a good amount but I did so then all I did was just hold it right on there and it should dry relatively quick a good minute and it should be dried it's definitely very sticky that's for sure okay uh, hold it down with this. Uh, 
Oh, and then we'll just wait for this to dry and then we'll... Sorry, I'm kind of hiding it all. I just want to push it all down. Get it all made. Okay, and that's on there. So there's our little strawberry. Aren't they too cute? So you got two of them. They look good enough to eat. So stinking cute. I love them. Okay, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna finish making more for myself um, to have for, like I said, a little dining room spread. But I will also list down below everything I use. Like I said, liquid glass, you have, you really got to use um, the piercing and embossing toolkit. And of course, you have to have Artiste to go ahead and cut it out. So thank you so much for watching. I will have all the links posted down below, especially the link to join my team so you can get yourself your free rolling tote this month. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to catch crafting and stamping. Bye.